we're on the putting green and we're going to talk putting. Remember, the goal of putting is to roll the ball end over end down the intended line consistently. Now, in order to do that, we want to use our big muscles and not our small, fast twitch muscles like our wrists and our hands. So we want to use more of our shoulders and our arms, okay? Now, in order to do that, we want to make sure we start off with a good grip. And a good grip can mean many things. But what I want in a good grip is that your palms are always opposing each other. So it doesn't matter if you start with a conventional reverse overlap grip like this. You can do left hand low like this here. You can do the claw grip. You can even, I've seen on the tour, they have a guy who holds the handle against his forearm as long as it doesn't go past his elbow joint. So it doesn't matter as long as your palms are opposing each other. And I'm going to go over an exercise in a little bit um, to show you how to do that. Um, but after you get your grip set, our goal is to get in a good posture. So in posture in putting, since the putter is made shorter and more upright, we want our eyes to be more over the putter head or over the ball rather than further or closer, too close to it. So in other words, when I have the ball on the ground, we want to make sure that when we set up, our eyes are somewhat over the ball. If they're a little bit on the inside towards the heel of the putter, it's okay. If they're a little over, it's, it's okay. As long as you're not too far from it, where your eyes are almost on your toe line, or too close, where your eyes are way out over past the putter. And if, if you're having trouble getting a sense of where you're at, just grab the ball, take it, put it between, um, put it on the bridge of your nose here, right between your eyes, and drop it after you get in your setup. This will be a good indication of where your eyes are situated. You want the ball to drop somewhere in front of the putter head or right on top of the putter head. If it drops too close to your toes, you know that you're too far away from it and vice versa. Is too. If you drop it on the other side of your putter head, you, mean you know you're too close. So just a good indication. Then, once we get our posture we're here, we want to make sure that our ball position is correct. Now, very simple. If the ball position, I should say, excuse me, if the, the putter head is in the middle of my stance, the ball is going to be slightly forward. So the ball should be slightly forward and center. It doesn't need to be off your left toe like a driver, and it shouldn't be in the back of your stance. So an easy way to do it is keep the putter head in the middle, take a step to the left and a step to the right, and the ball is going to be just forward and center. This is going to allow us to catch the putter or the ball on the upstroke. Okay? so that we can create that top spin and roll the ball end over end. The last thing we want to do is hit down on the putter, or the ball, excuse me, and create back spin. Okay, so now we have the ball position forward to center. We have our posture perfect. Now all we have to do is make a nice, smooth stroke, try to go back and through the same distance, the same tempo, using your big muscles, so not using your wrists and hands. You can see how the club face and the tempo changes dramatically when you start to use your wrists and hands. This is why we use our big muscles for consistency. Just go back and through. Now I have some tees set up and a ruler to help guide me here. Now I'm just going back from the green to the green or from the tee to the tee to help gauge my swing length and my tempo. Okay. The last thing to remember is that the putting stroke is not a straight back and straight through. Since we're standing a little to the side of the ball, there's a small little arc to it. And that should happen naturally. You shouldn't have to do that. As long as you're set up correctly, that should happen naturally. Okay, so just a back and through the same distance and the same speed. All right? So once you have that down, you can go ahead, make a practice stroke, and then let's give it a try. <laughs> 